What's up guys, Sharky Cello here again, bringing you another deck profile. Now today I'm going to be bringing you Evil Swarms, as you guys can see in the title already. But I'm going to be bringing you Evil Swarms because uh, I did play this deck earlier in the format. I stopped playing it because x Knight and uh, 101 came out. And those cards are just goddamn expensive. I can't afford those uh, cards. Like, I'm not going to pay $100 for two cards, like... Fuck no. But anyway, the deck is still really freaking strong. And if you guys can afford those cards, then go ahead and pick them up and pick up this deck because this deck is going to be extremely strong in upcoming formats. Now, right now, it's not that strong because um, there's not a lot of uh, uh, decks that, you know, um, bring out level five or higher monsters anymore. And, um, you know, dragons aren't a thing anymore and stuff like that. But the deck is still pretty strong. If you can operate it pretty well, then you can do... A lot of damage into the format and like I said it's still extremely strong with those two cards and uh, yeah so let's get started with the deck profile I know you guys want to see that and um, like I said the reason why I wanted to show this deck because I didn't want it to go all my hard work to go to waste because I stopped playing it because I can't afford those cards so anyway I'm gonna show you the build you know you guys can adjust it to your liking and add in excondon Knights and all this other good stuff so let's get started so we have our rabbit engine our one rabbit or uh, our three heliotropes, of course. Um, now our three casters. Our three Circeons, which people say Kirkion, but in the Japanese, it's spelled the same way. When you translate, it's spelled the same way, and uh, it's Circeon there. But I don't know, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter how you say it. It's still does the same thing, but whatever. Uh, next is your three Magigora, or Plant Cyber Dragon. Next is your three Thunderbirds. And last but not least, to round out the monster lineup, we have one Thunder King. Now, I don't run any gimmicky cards like that or anything like that because, uh, like I said, they're gimmicky and they don't work all the time. So, yeah, um, I just don't like running gimmicky cards and uh, stuff that doesn't work for me. So, anyway, next for the spell lineup, we have our three MSTs, our two Infestation Pandemics because you all... You only really need to, and uh, you dead draw this card a lot, and you can search it out. Uh, next is your two Forbidden Lands, your one Allure of Darkness, your one Dark Hole, your one Book of Moon, and last but not least, your one Reinforcement of the Army that's not hollow, and it makes me extremely sad. Uh, next is for your traps. Oops. Uh, you have one Infestation Infection, which is extremely strong. Your three Phoenix Chains. I run three Phoenix Chains and everything. I know some people don't like that because uh, it can, you know, your opponent can screw you over with this. But I love this card. This card is extremely strong and I play three Phoenix Chains and everything. Uh, next is your uh, two Mirror Force, your one uh, Torrential Tribute, and for some reason the light. Damn it. Damn it, light. Uh, your one Compulsory Activation Device, your one Bottomless Trap Hole, your one uh, Solemn Warning, your one Seven Tools of the Bandit. Screw you, Wesley. You got me hooked to this card. This card is OP. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, your one save zone to round up the mon ro monster lineup. Round up the spell. The spell. <laughs> round up the trap lineup because um, Master Key Beetle is still a thing. <laughs> Next is your three Ophions because um, even though his uh, second, his first effect is not that great anymore because there's not a lot of like. Um, you know, really huge monsters, special summoning monster decks anymore. Um, his second effect still is a thing. And you can search out those, um, those, uh, those infestation cards and just screw your opponent over. At the same time, he's still a really huge monster. Those extra 550 uh, attack just screws over a lot of big monsters. Uh, next is your two Bahamuts, your one Ouroboros, your one Roach, your, one, your two Master Key Beetles. Your one um, emerald, your one dire dire, your one uh, um, abyss dweller, your one gaga -ga -ga cowboy, your one corn, and last but not least, your one crazy box. Now, what would I take out for 101 and uh, Eskatan Knight? I'll probably take out the corn and um, one master key beetle for those two cards. Uh, just take out one of these. Um, you do need, I think two of each card so I don't know what else to take out but for sure if I would have like an Eskatanite and I want to one I'll take out these two cards for those cards but anyway guys tell me what you guys think like I said I w just wanted to show you the deck so it won't go to waste and uh you know so you guys can enjoy it you guys can take it uh play test it yourselves uh add in the Eskatanites and 101s that you guys have because I'm too poor to afford those cards but anyway guys like I said I hope you guys enjoy the video I hope you guys um Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, like I said, guys, and always say more videos to come, 
Until next time, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.